Learn how to use the Solaris LookDev layout and lighting tools to create a market scene using a collection of existing assets. The goal is to use USD to build a shot pipeline to format the assets, assemble the scene, add lighting, and then render. The Solaris environment converts everything into USD, or Universal Scene Description, which is an open source initiative created by Pixar that has been widely adopted throughout the industry. Learn how to set up USD files procedurally at various stages of production. You will take on three roles to complete the shot. As a look dev asset prep artist, you will use the component builder to prepare assets, assign material, set up proxy geometry and variants, then export to USD. As an assembly artist, you will learn how to work with the stage manager to place assets, then save out the assembled scene as USD for the next step. As a layout lighting artist, you will learn how to set up a camera and lights and render multiple shots with different lighting designs. In the first lesson, you will focus on asset preparation. This is where you will bring together geometry and a material x base shader to create a USD asset. You will use the component builder, which makes it easier for artists to create first class USD that will work reliably through all stages of the pipeline. The next few assets will be set up using variants. Variants are different versions of an asset that have unique geometric or material qualities. The component builder lets you set up the different variants, then incorporate them into the USD file. Later, you have access to the variants during scene assembly and layout. You now have assets that have been properly set up as USD. For this part of the lesson, you will play the part of an assembly artist who is going to create a scene out of the kit of parts you just prepared. This will give you a sense of how different artists on the same team can work together using USD and Solaris. You now have two bookcases that are sitting empty. You are going to populate these shelves with jars using instancing. You will start by pulling the shelves into the geometry level where you will scatter points on the shelves. This provides a very efficient workflow for dealing with many similar objects. You will also use some variation to the size and orientation of the jars. So far you have dragged items from the gallery to the stage, which has resulted in reference nodes in the network. You're now going to use the stage manager node itself to work with several assets at the same time. This node gives you access to the gallery and lets you place, duplicate, and set variants on your assets. You can even use physics to place assets down more naturally. This scene would look better with some context. You're going to build a small building behind the market stall to flesh out the scene. This involves going to the geometry level where you can still see the stage level to make creative decisions. You will also add detail to the ground surface using textures created in Copernicus to make it look like sand dunes. The assembled scene will be exported as USD. You are now going to start a new scene where you will work as a shot layout lighting artist using the assembled scene. You will learn how to tweak the elements to suit each shot and how to use insertion points to make it easier to add nodes to the right place in a network. Each shot will have a unique look using the same base assets you set up in the last section. Now that the two shots are ready, you can refine the rendering. Using Karma XBU, you will use render settings and set up AOVs, render layers for the shot. You will then snapshot different lighting setups and compare the results. Once the shots are ready, you will render them to disk. When you finish, you will have learned how to work in Solaris so that you can leverage USD to create a pipeline for look development that stretches from asset prep to scene assembly to layout and lighting. Good luck and enjoy.